Hi, this is Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we'll be looking at the Eufy Robot Vac G10 Hybrid Robot Vacuum and Mop. So this is what I would say to be a low to medium range of robot vacuum cleaner from Eufy. Uh, this particular robot vacuum sits at the top of the range at £299. So considering you can pay up most of £1,000 for the top of the line vacuum, uh, the G10 comes at a pretty good deal. So, what do you get in the box? You get the robot vac itself, its charging base, a wall power adapter to keep it continuously charged when docked. You get four slide brushes, of which once attached you have two spare. You also get an additional filter, a cleaning tool, uh, the water tank for the mopping, one fabric cloth for the mopping is already attached, and you get a spare one with it too. And also you get some accessories like uh, some cable ties to keep the wall plug cable uh, neatly tucked away. You get some extra bungs for uh, the water reservoir. Uh, you get a big base mat for when you're doing the mopping function. This protects your floor from getting uh, wet uh, whenever the, the mop is um, left underneath and is drying out. And you also get the manual and a quick start guide as well. So the initial setup of the G10 is really simple. You attach two of the side brushes firmly into the base of the RoboVac, then find a suitable location for the charging station. Once you place the RoboVac on the power charging station, the G10 will begin charging. It comes with some charge out of the box um, on its, in its internal battery, but it's recommended that you charge it completely so it can tackle its first task with a full battery. So while you wait for it to fully charge, you can download the Eufy Home smartphone app and pair it with your Wi-Fi network. Once connected, you can manage its functions and settings from starting a clean, make it return to the base station to recharge, to spot cleaning, setting up a schedule and changing its power modes from default to maximum suction. Personally, I would have liked to see how it was mapping my house through to how well it's doing in the progress of cleaning, but I think that might be due to the limits of its hardware. Moreover, expensive models that feature LiDAR sensors, which this G10 doesn't simply have. Once you command it to clean by either pressing the top button or via the app, the G10 will spring into life and begin moving around your house using a bow-shaped cleaning method. What that means is that the G10 will leave the base station, travel in straight lines until it hits a wall, and then it will turn 180 and then return at roughly the width of the actual hoover itself. Its firm side brushes does a decent job of collecting any loose particles that are found in its path. But like with most robot vacuums, you will still get small corners where the brushes physically can't get to it. Its light and powerful motored rollers and brushes help the G10 climb up onto carpets and mats from any hard surface pretty easily. It's pretty impressive too with its bump sensors and then it can test a few surfaces by bumping into it before it decides if it's a solid obstacle. This in turn can sometimes mean that objects and doors can get bumped or moved, which can block the robot or close a door to a, a room and prevent the vacuum from finishing its job of cleaning the whole house. And without any guide on its progress, you have no idea what rooms it has or hasn't cleaned, which can be a problem. So all dust and dirt is collected in its filtered waste bin is accessed at the back of the Eufy G10. It's a generous size compared to other robot vacuums that I've used. However, opening and emptying the waste bin can sometimes be a little bit cumbersome and it can sometimes result in getting dirt around the bin when you're trying to empty into it. Uh, a more Dyson-like approach of opening it away from you uh, would have been a better approach, I think, here. If you have a hardwood laminated or tarred floor, the G10 Hybrid also has a mopping function, but don't get too excited for any Fantasia mopping magic here. The water compartment barely holds much water and it just basically drips onto a mopping cloth that you must dampen under a water tap first. The water tank and pad is then inserted onto the bottom of the waste container and is then dragged behind the RoboVac as it travels around your home. Any rugs along the way can't be marked off or avoided, which means that they get the wet mop treatment too, which isn't great. You're told not to leave the G10 unattended whilst it is mopping. 
which I feel defeats the point of owning a robo vacuum. You just want to fill it with water, have it detect what is hard flooring and do the job unattended. Personally, I can't see myself using the mopping function after its first lackluster test. As a positive note, it is great that you don't have to sacrifice the dirt compartment when it mops, which means the G10 can mop and clean at the same time. The G10 spot cleaning mode is as you would expect. You can clean or mop in this mode by simply placing the G10 at the center of a dirty area and the G10 will start from the center and spiral outwards to clean a wide area of a spill or dirty patch. It also features full detection, so you won't find it leaping off stairs or ledges in your home. And if you can't clean the entire house on a full charge, it'll find its way back to the base station and recharge and resume cleaning once the battery is full. Thanks to its Wi-Fi connection, you can tell the RoboVac to start cleaning from your smartphone or if connected to Google or Amazon device, you can simply tell Google or Alexa to start cleaning. You can also download and apply firmware updates. And if you wish to customize the voice of your RoboVac, you can do that too through downloads of various language packs of male and female voice types, as well as some comical ones too. Sadly, you can't easily switch between the voices. You must download and install each one and to use it, even if you've downloaded it before. So is the Ufi Robovac G10 hybrid up to the job of cleaning your home? For me, I found it to be a jack of all trades and master of none. Its mopping function leaves little to be excited about, whilst its lack of LDS sensors and SLAM technology means you're left guessing where it's cleaned and doubting if it has done a thorough job. Its battery wasn't able to clean my entire house, which was a bit of a surprise from a single charge. Its smartphone app, although nicely presented, left me wanting more features and a display of progress is a must for any robot vacuum. Retailing for £299, its price reflects its dual functionality of which it could have easily done without. Opting for a better equipped Xiaomi MyJar 1C or 1S robot vacuum would be my recommendation. Both are similarly priced, yet you get room mapping feature and progress, better battery life, multiple suction modes, and they are overall far more intelligent robot vacuums that I would feel more comfortable leaving unattended around my home. All right, I hope this video gives you a good summary of the Eufy RoboVac G10 Hybrid. You can also read this review on carplaylife.com. Be sure to subscribe and a like this video if you found this helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.